Miriam was on her way to work, she was evacuated from the tube at King's Cross Station. She must have just jumped on the first bus that came along. I saw the van pull up out the front. I thought, God, that's weird, that van stopping there. And next thing, next thing I knew, this, this big fireball just come out the side of the van. I remember it in slow motion. Just looked down and said, you know, you're kidding. Our youngest child, Peter, was murdered on September 11th, and he was just 25 years old when he died. I guess I must have died because I remember looking down on myself, and it was like a frozen moment where I could just see myself laying there. I must have come back to him and thought, bugger this, I'm getting out of here, so I just started screaming. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Miriam was my only sibling and my closest confidant and an irreplaceable friend. I always believed that if I lost a child, I would never stop screaming. But after Peter was killed, I learned that you only have two options. One, you can kill yourself. The other option is to put one foot in front of the other. hope to somebody's life, they are less liable to strap dynamite around their waists and go and blow themselves up along with innocent bystanders. Yeah.